Hi everyone, this is Margaret Manning with 60 and Me. Life after 60 is all about expressing yourself and you know, following your passions. And when it comes to fashion for older women, the same things apply. We should be able to wear the clothes that make us feel comfortable, that we feel good in, and that express our true personality and our style. And that that image we project to the world, that inner person is communicating themselves to the outer world in a true authentic way. And there are a couple of ways of thinking about this. There's two schools of, of thought. The first is just simply that I will wear whatever I like. I've been on the planet 60 years. I can, I, you know, I've, I've had to dress up for work or for various other reasons, but now it's my time and I'm going to wear anything I like that is that feels good. And that actually can take, is a spectrum from wearing just very comfortable, you know, comfy clothes and um, you know, comfortable shoes and all the way to wearing very bohemian, eccentric clothing that is a little bit more, you know, maybe provocative or a little bit more unusual. And uh, so women who, who have that uh, perspective, you know, can range from, you know, that whole, from being comfortable to being very eccentric. Um, now, the other school of thought is that fashion um, is very expressive of personality, but there are some basic you know, guidelines and classical rules that can be followed uh, to give you a foundation. And um, when I had a conversation with Melanie Page, who is a fashion consultant, we talked about this and how um, the more classical rules can actually uh, serve as a foundation for accessorizing in ways that reflect your personality. So, you know, you might have a very straightforward uh, dress or, or outfit, but you could accessorize with jewelry or hats or, or scarves and, um, you know, and bring your own personality and your own character out through those accessories. There's a very interesting blogger, her name is Judith Boyd. I've actually interviewed her before and she is a very bohemian dresser. I mean, she wears amazingly beautiful clothing. She shops at consignment stores and uh, estate sales, but she puts it together so incredibly uniquely and, and uh, she's a very classically trained and, and she has those principles in her, her style. So she's a little bit of a combination of both. But I think those are the two main, um, you know, sort of schools of thought and it'd be interesting to know what, what you think about that. Uh, there are some women, as I said earlier, who are doing some really interesting things with fashion, real passion for fashion. And in the article I've written, um, which I linked to below, uh, there's a few of them mentioned with some incredible pictures. You really have to take a look at these pictures. They're, they're just so expressive of these women, what they are, what they believe in. And, you know, you can look at them and say, I don't know, they're a little too quirky for me, or that's just way too extreme. I would feel like a clown if I if I dressed up like that. Um, or you might say, well, I like that part of it, but I wouldn't wear that hat. <laughs> you know, but these women are themselves. They are truly authentic. And they're using social media to really communicate that um, they're not invisible. You know, they're not going to just, you know, go away. They're going to show their fashion sense and their personalities through their fashion in any way that they like. And some of them are incredible. There's a, a, a blog called Advanced Style. We talk about it in the article. A gentleman called Eric Cohen started photographing older women in, who were eccentric dressers. And they were in their 80s and just, you know, very unique. And uh, they they have a very interesting do documentary, there's a link in the article, about this um, urban dressing and, and uh, eccentricity. And, and as I said earlier, how it really is meant to reflect uh, your deepest, deepest personality, your psyche, who you are. And perhaps as you get a little older, you get that permission <laughs> to be a little bit more quirky. Judith Boyd is mentioned in some great pictures of her and the clothing that she wears. There's also a couple of ladies who are probably at the other ex at this extreme, and the name of, the, of them are idiosyncratic fashionistas, and they are idiosyncratic. But they are just saying, we're setting a bad example, and that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're setting a bad, bad example. And, and that's their attitude is that, look, you know, I, I followed the rules all my life. I'm going to just express myself with my clothes. And that's uh, the decision that they've made. So if you're really interested to know what you think, go take a look at the article. Uh, look, look at the pictures. They're on Instagram. Most of them have amazing Instagram um, uh, accounts where they have lots of pictures of their, of their clothing. And it is a true art. And uh, just have a look at them and just see what you think. Do they resonate with you? Are the styles something that you might wear? Or do you take a look at them and think, no, never, I won't ever look like that? Would you say, I would take a part of it? I think that that black piece is really lovely and I would wear a scarf and I loved her bracelets. 
you know, what is it about these clothes? Do you like them? Would you wear them? Do they somehow resonate with you? I'd really love your feedback. Put your comments in the section below and let's have a conversation. Let's talk about fashion. Thanks everyone.